Hi everybody. Today I am here to speak to you on two topics. One is about logging child's progress, the essentials, aims and the purpose of records and reports in a preschool. Documented plans, records of children's assessments and evaluations are effective ways to support and extend children's thinking, learning and development. What should be the aim of a teacher or an early childhood practitioner? Yes, the ultimate aim of a true practitioner is to find the children's progress and development. It is the best reward that makes a practitioner satisfied. Now let's see how this can be done. Initially, baseline assessment should be conducted which can cover some of the basic skills like speaking, listening, reading, writing, mathematics, personal and social development. Teachers can use the baseline assessment data to plan their teaching method in accordance with the child's needs. As time passes, it would be possible for the schools to assess children's progress against this baseline. What are the tools used? Observation and assessment are the most important tools of watching and learning so as to establish an achieved progress and to explore the future. Individual observation of a child or group observation of children both can be done in order to find out the development or progress in one or more areas. Checklists can be represented pictorially so that the children can also record their own progress. For this, the young children can use progress books, they can present their evidence of their work in portfolios, they can participate in interviews and do self-completion of the charts. Checklists would indicate the children who need support. Based on the checklist details, plans can be devised and implemented to help the children to develop in particular skills. The checklist can be updated regularly during an ongoing monitoring process. Therefore, a child's profile becomes a detailed register of past and present progress, most importantly gives indications about the future progress in development. It also represents the strategies that have been implemented. All of you would have seen and heard about records, reports and registers in administrative setups. These are seen in preschools too. Do you think they are important? What might be their significance? Now, let us learn about the essentials of records and reports in a preschool. It is essential to maintain records and reports in a preschool since preschool serves as a guide to the child's growth and development. Records and reports are to be properly maintained because it will be of great help to plan the program and guides the children. A best effective program should be based on the children's needs, wishes and their abilities. The experience the children have in a preschool should be useful, enthusiastic and promote development in various realms. Records and reports would make the teacher realize the school readiness of the children. Records and reports of a particular child when taken to the primary school along with the child and handed over to the teacher would help the teacher to know the child's physical, emotional, social and intellectual development and his deficiencies as well. Records of children. Each child comes to a school from various circumstances. The changes that children undergo at this stage can greatly influence their future life. The primary school helps in the child's growth and development. Preschool plays a serious role in the physical, mental, emotional and social development of the children. Therefore, it is very important to maintain records and reports in a pre-primary school and this will help in planning programs and guide the children. A program becomes virtuous when it is planned according to the needs, wants, 
and capabilities of the children. The pre-primary education should facilitate the child's development in various aspects. The experience the children have in a pre-primary school should be meaningful, purposeful and enthusiastic. From the records and reports, the teacher can evaluate how far the children are ready to be in a school atmosphere. This would help the children to know the child's physical, intellectual, emotional, social development as well as his weaknesses. Records are valuable for various things like in guiding the behavior and in planning the education of the individual child. It helps to evaluate programs, methods and outcomes based on the principles of the nursery school. This further enables the staff to improve the techniques. Records and reports keep the parents aware of their children's behavior and progress in education at the school. Records are necessary for helping the doctor and other specialists in their understanding about the child. It would provide the child's details to the successive teachers who would teach them in the future classes. Evaluative records can serve as devices for teaching students who are preparing themselves for work in nursery schools. The maintenance of records at pre-primary school is important as study material for the researches on child growth. However, in India, the data on the pattern of child development is not maintained well. The records are not to be simply stored. Each preschool teacher should realize that the purpose of keeping the records is to guide the child. Systematic recording can detect a child's deficiencies and its causes so that appropriate referral services or therapeutic treatment can be provided at the earliest. In this regard, proper maintenance of the records of children are of great value to the researchers. Therefore, it is necessary to maintain records and reports in primary schools. The following are the most important records and registers to be maintained in the schools. Attendance register, admission register, school lunch record, record of income and expenditure, stock register, visitors record, parent education program record, daily record, monthly record, record of program planning, health report, cumulative record, record of early planning, under that you have records of children and maintenance and administrative records of preschools. Let's take a glance at some of the records in detail. The first one is the health record. The health record gives an awareness of the gradual development of each child both to the parents as well as to the teacher. Every month, the preschool teacher should note down the serial number, the name of the children, age, month, weight and height in the health record. The measurement should be taken once in a month at the same hour of the day under the same conditions of clothing and eating time. The monthly systematic measurements are to be noted carefully because it can act as a simple index of the child's nutritional status. These records can be useful for both parents and teachers. Medical checkup results and recommendations can also be entered in the health record. Health is wealth. Good health and development ensures energetic, skillful involvement in the preschool activities by the child. Health record can indicate the child's interest, capability and development in those activities. This record when it is handed over to the next class is easy to guide the child in the right direction. The next one is the cumulative record. All the collected data about a child are maintained in the form of cumulative records. The cumulative record contains details of personal data, prenatal history and birth history developmental history from birth, disease and vaccination. It also contains information on the home background, habits and interests of the child, 
health and general remarks of the teacher. The child's interest in various activities and involvement in work should be clearly noted by the teacher. It can help to guide the child to a job oriented educational course for his future. Moving on to the records of administration, the first one is the attendance register. An attendance register is to be strictly maintained. The teacher should write the names of the children who attend the school in the attendance register serially. The names of boys and girls may be differentiated using two different colors. The attendance should be recorded every day in the morning and in the evening. This helps to note the number of days the child attends school in a month. Remedial steps shall be taken based on the reasons for absenteeism and the impact of the school is assessed in relation to attendance. Next, let's move on to the admission report. Admission report contains the birth, native place, the date of admission, etc. The names of newly admitted children should be written continually after the name of the discontinued children without committing them. Record of admission forms. The parents are given an admission form in which the name, address, age and sex of the child, the father's occupation, the economic status of the family, all these details should be entered. Along with this, they should give information regarding the immunization record of the child. The parents are advised to give all the necessary vaccinations to the child before the child is sent to school. The date of registration and number on the waiting list at the time of registration is recorded on one corner of the admission form. At the time of admission, the date and roll number are also entered. Similarly, at the time of withdrawal, the date, age and reasons for withdrawal are also recorded. Next, let us have a look on the record of general information of the child. The general information is provided by the parents after the child is admitted to school. Detailed information about the parents or the guardian of the child such as their age, educational qualification, occupation, income, etc. is also to be kept. It will also include details such as their siblings, type of family and information about relatives staying at home, facilities at home, the languages used at home, the order of birth of the child and whether or not both the parents are alive and whether they are living together. Next is the record of income and expenditure. This record includes details regarding whether the income and the expenditure that is whether both ends meet successfully. The school lunch record. A school lunch record is to be maintained to list down the menu daily and the expenditure that is incurred for it. This would ensure if the children are enjoying a balanced diet or not and also it helps to find out the expenditure for each meal and to accredit the changes in the lunch scheme if it is required. The stock register. A stock register should be maintained in a nursery school to know whether the article is a donation or it is being brought or bought by the school, the particulars about the condemned goods, the stock, the signature of the secretary and other particulars should all be recorded in the stock register. All the preschool teachers should realize the need for records and reports in a preschool and develop their skill in maintaining them. Correct maintenance and recording of the details about the stock can help to check the requirements for the present 
and the future. All the articles and other items like accessories must be marked in an inventory register under proper headings. Visitors record. Officers or guests might often visit the nursery school to see the children and also they may give their suggestions. All this should be recorded in the visitors record. Then we have parent education program record. A weekly or a monthly meeting will be held in the school to discuss some issues regarding the children. For example, topics like nutritious diet for children, child care, problems found among the pre-primary school children and some solutions may be discussed during the meeting. All the details of such meetings should be recorded in the parent education program record. Next we have records of house visits. A record of house visits should also be maintained which may have an interview schedule which the teacher will take along with her when she undertakes the home visits. The teacher holds informal talks with the parents, notices the home setup, the facilities that the child enjoys etc. The teacher collects detailed information about the habits of the child, his or her history such as record of illnesses, mannerisms, the toilet habits, sleeping habits, eating habits, interactions she has with the family etc. Through the interaction with the parents, the teacher finds out the type of disciplinary methods that the child is exposed to. All these details will help the teacher to understand the behavior of the child. The background information can provide a whole picture of the child and his family. On the next visit, the teacher will record only the changes if there are any in the different areas. Then we have the record of teacher's estimate on the individual child. The child's development in the school is being found out by looking at the child's interests, his problems and the factors that hinder the child's development. When a teacher evaluates a child it will help in promoting an analytical attitude on the part of the teacher with regard to her estimate of the child's behavior. Working with each child can help the teacher to modify her teaching techniques according to the child's need. Using the ratings on behavior and development, the teacher can understand, assess and help the child in his development or can give specific attention. Next we have a daily diary. The daily diary that is a diary which is used to write the progress particulars such as the date, the starting of the school, the attendance of children, the prayer, free conversation, planned activity, outdoor play, song, indoor play visit of guests, all these should be clearly noted in the daily diary regularly. Then we have a monthly report. The monthly report should contain particulars such as classes taken, health checkup and other activities of the entire month. Then we have the yearly planning report. This report contains extracurricular activities for each month. All this should find a separate place in this report. Then the record of parents meeting and parental participation in the school. This record is to determine the presence of preschool programs. This record shows the various activities in which the parents participate in the school the nature of their participation and frequency of their participation. The report should also contain details about discussions, suggestions, the final decisions that have been made if there are any by both parents as well as the teachers. Then we have the receipt forms. 
receipt forms they enable easy and original transaction between the parents and the management the original receipt and the duplicate carbon copy both are being kept by the school all the receipts should be numbered and it should be kept in bound books which can be made into duplicate every receipt should be checked by the auditor at any time now let us move on to the record of group experiences a record of group experiences of the children should be kept by the teacher so that it can be used to make group experience plans in the coming years it also helps the teacher to rate the overall progress of the group this record can help the successive teacher in the kindergarten or in the first grade to plan group activities for the children records facilitate the total evaluation process a teacher puts knowledge into practice checks over the records and then assesses them here she is working and reevaluating her work the individual and group records are of great importance because these records help the teacher to find out the level of progress made by the children therefore a teacher can achieve an in-depth knowledge on how she can serve a child in his development the teacher also achieves a personal and professional progress by helping the children inspection report or supervisor's remarks this is yet another register that is being maintained in the preschool the teachers shall be guided for the betterment of the school by the supervisors and inspectors who will visit the pre primary school automatically these advices and suggestions given by the supervisors and inspectors would help the teachers to improve and excel in their duties as enrollment in preschools increases on a daily basis the available resources may become overstressed there is a need to keep record of all school activities as part of effective school administration record keeping and the management of records is a vital responsibility of the preschool administrator because of the indispensable role of records and information in the day to day activities of the preschool system preschool managers rely on the short and the long term data captured in records to make effective decisions about immediate issues and more comprehensive preschool policies without records there can be no accountability quality performance task accomplishment and measurable outcomes are increasingly important responsibilities all of which depend on the accessibility of usable records without access to records it is virtually impossible to determine responsibility for actions and to hold individuals accountable for their actions preschool records are official documents books and files containing essential and crucial information of actions and events which are kept and preserved in the preschool office for utilization and retrieval as needed such records are kept by principals teachers counselors and administrative staff the purpose of record keeping for effective school management is to ensure that accurate and proper records are kept of student achievement and growth preschool activities and matters that will promote school efficiency and effectiveness record keeping otherwise known as storage of information is an important function 
of both the administration and the teaching staff of a preschool. Additionally, preschool records include those pertaining to personal details of pupils along with those of their academic performance, assessments and examination results, preschool policies, minutes of preschool based meetings including information received from ministries of education and other educational bodies etc. Preschool records can thus be said to comprise all existing and accessible records, books, files and other documents containing useful information that relates to what goes on into the preschool system. These records may also be in the form of reports, letters, memos, pictures, films, journals, diaries and so on. Contemporary challenges in the field of educational management require extraordinarily developed problem solving, decisive thinking and interpersonal skills. If these complex and multidimensional challenges are to be productively surmounted. Approaching record keeping in preschool systems from a theoretical perspective provides an opportunity for educational managers, supervisors, planners, students and practitioners to explore education issues in an environment that is conducive for their respective professional development and reflections. Importance of record keeping Record keeping generally concerns the administrative activities that are concerned with achieving cost effectiveness and efficiency in the creation, maintenance, use and disposal of the records of educational institutions throughout their entire life cycle and in making the information they contain accessible in the support of the preschool business administration. Thus, it is essential that records are kept in preschool for effective administration because proper record keeping facilitates retrieval of valuable information that might be helpful in day to day operations and decision making in the preschool system. The important reasons for record keeping in preschools are accountability. Record keeping is vital to an education system's information cycle as a whole because of its fundamental role in the process of efficient information production and collection. Decision making. The preschool records help the school administrators to make decisions. Guidance counselors. Preschool records are of great importance to the guidance counselors as these records can provide the counselors with a holistic picture of the students they counsel and they can help counsellors to track the student progress. Information Bank Records kept in the preschools serve as an information bank from which the preschool administrators can recall information as needed. So, to conclude, records play a key role in keeping abreast with the developments in the functioning of the school and maintain a report of the past years for future references. A pre-primary school teacher should be very observant and should record the various developments in the child based on her observations. This can give a clear picture on the child's development, his interests and capabilities. Based on the development shown by the child, he may be promoted to the next class. Proper education can also be provided to the children based on their progress in development, their needs and desires. Maintenance of records and reports in a preschool requires skill. The pre-primary teachers should know the importance of records and reports in a pre-primary school and should practice to develop the skill in maintaining them. Hoping that this input will be beneficial to you, myself Danya signing off for today and hoping to meet you with the next junk of information.